Yeah, okay. this is too good already. Y'all. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Cheers. Water. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys yep. seen these? What's that? I, I just seen a commercial yesterday for ah. those, and it looked deadly. Any good? It's like a it's like a better version of a cream soda. It's absolutely <laughs> Dang. delicious. It's so good. Dang. Even those hard, uh, like the actual hard cream sodas that they make, this thing is better. I don't know wow. what they did. But it just play, tastes like pure vanilla. It's so good. When I explain you to people, Paul, I'm like, think of a normal friend, and then Paul's just that, way better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, sorry, Mike, you're on, and Young, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, you guys are still here? I thought you two were muted. Yeah. Picture Mike, but, like, the all neoned but, up. But, like, ten <laughs> times better. <laughs> Mike's Hard never goes wrong, though. Like, I don't think I've ever had, like, a bad Mike's Hard flavor. Black Cherry is yeah. my favorite, man. Fuck me. Even they the got, original they got lemonade? Yeah, that's good. They got this one, they got a... A blue one that I haven't tried, and they got one that says it's like fuzzy peach. So you never know. My fuzzy navel. Hats off it. to you, Paul. Out of anyone I know, you're willing to try the most stuff. Like <laughs> I've been burnt so much by <laughs> shitty beer and shitty liquor yeah. and stuff that I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna be one of those old guys. that's like, I drink my one beer, yeah. and my one other liquor. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. It's not like they're all home runs, you know? Like, <laughs> there's been a lot of bad, bad stuff. So it's, <laughs> then you have to choke down. You. I think that's the difference between, like, you and me, Paul, because you get excited, but, like, you have realistic expectations. Me, I get so excited. Yeah. Like, I'm expecting my mind to be blown every time, and I'm just so disappointed by drinking <laughs> tree bark. <laughs> and willow if fart just, if you just expect that it's going to be disgusting then if it's actually good it's psychology it's right? Pretty, right that's the psychology of it yeah yeah erdinger though erdinger is a good one eh, andy oh yeah yeah well Holy shit you when erdinger know? runs out you got to put fill it up with guinness the only other acceptable substitute Ooh. dang see I, i'm not a big he fan of guinness man and then if that's get, not dark enough for you, then you get the <laughs> dang world's oh. finest red Audacious. blend. A Marlo. <laughs> a Marlo. Are you drinking? Are you drinking Guinness and red wine? He's together? drinking soup. He's drinking soup and red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a protein shake? Chocolate. <laughs> We'll see how good this podcast goes if I can make it. Is that, after. is that fucking motor oil you got in your cut? Yeah. <laughs> is that used motor oil? Synthetic or conventional? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I treat my body good, runs clean. You know, I heard yes, a, it's a synthetic. I heard a good dad joke before uh, before uh, we started, and uh, yeah. so my so my wife is sleeping with his uh, with her dietitian. She said it was a cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Good dad joke. <laughs> and that's like a, that's like an edgy dad joke. Right? Yeah. Some dad jokes. They won't go into that territory. Your mom's cheating on me. But that's like, yeah, that, that was pretty dark of a joke. If I'm being honest with you, I'm not going to be saying that around when I'm beating the kids, picking them up at school. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. When you're beating the kids. <laughs> that's dark, young. When I beat my kids, I won't be saying shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said it was a cheat day. <laughs> yeah. Cheat this. Yeah. No, did you guys hear? Um, so today they announced um, that seven more uh, Vancouver Canucks are COVID positive. Eh? That's crazy. Wow. Fourteen players altogether, so far. It Holy probably, shit. Probably go higher. How many people are on the team? Twenty-three. <laughs> Not including I mean, other than the coaches. Like yeah. How many actual players are on the team? And they have. They haven't mentioned any of the coaches or like uh, equipment uh, staff or anything like that. So the number is probably higher when it comes to the team. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The, they're probably partying. Yeah, <laughs> it's so kind of sad. That's like the most positive thing to happen to that franchise in like twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> or who who knows? Maybe they're tongue jousting. <laughs> maybe you that, never was new, know. that was a new that was a new drill that they're focused. Yeah, on. <laughs> instead of playing ping pong, they tongue joust. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's time to cancel the tonsil hockey, not the real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
They're playing telephone, but with spit. <laughs> Maybe they're just spitting in each other's mouths. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just a prank gone bad. One yeah. guy spits and the other guy spits in his mouth. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. Or, or you play spit doesn't... puck. Spit you puck. all drool into a, a puck container, and it freezes into a pile of solid drool. Oh, and you're like just... gross. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting, man. Oh, I remember the... Um... Uh, was it Good Daddy or uh, what's that Adam Sandler movie? Good Dad, where he he gets... Big Daddy, Big, Big Daddy, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, and then the kid spits, and it like it touches the <laughs> ground, and he sucks it back up. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember kids. Do you guys and... ever? Yeah, I was gonna say, do you guys ever remember doing that as a kid? Uh, I I think I tried, no. but it didn't go far. But kids used to do it with like, uh, they would like just build up a snot and just spit it down and oh so I, gross i can How never get, get mike <laughs> uh, only like a foot down that's but a foot from your mouth yeah wow. yeah from my mouth but that's i'd good. have to eat like a eat like a pack of skittles <laughs> and then your, <laughs> yes. your your saliva is like so thick yeah. from that all that sugar yeah. and then yeah i could get about a foot down and then i'd have to suck it back out gross you know man. it might just be my imagination but david sutherland you yeah know yeah he was the guy you drink cream soda and i don't know what else but like I swear to God, he could touch the ground and bring it back in his it was mouth. Dang, it's so gross. And I don't know if that's just my kid memory, but it feels like yeah. that happened. Like that's exactly yeah. It, it. Yeah. What if there's like a French fry or you dropped like a pickle off your burger and you're like, oh, I better go get that <laughs> lizard. You got a lizard spit it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to store it back. There's only one way to get it. Up. <laughs> don't want to bend down and use your hands. Yeah. I'll just use my spitter. Just to get us. A- Get a pickle. Yeah. I just so want to say that. Uh, I just want to say Misty's making mozzarella sticks, and I'm not oh, excited shit. to eat them anymore. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> they look exactly like the spit that you're talking oh. about. Pull, pull the cheese apart. <laughs> you ruin them. You ruin them. Just eat them whole, Paul. Yeah, slow them down. You know what so, ruined onion rings for me? Remember Eminem spitting on onion rings in the video? Guy eats it, and the drool's like hanging off. Yeah. Oh. I don't get grossed out easy, but that like turned me away from M&S. like fast food for like weeks. What? It was gross. I don't think yeah. I remember yeah. that. You should have went to Burger King to get their onion rings because it's just chopped up pieces formed into a ring. Oh. I like those yeah. ones. Yeah. I hate those ones. I like real it's onion. Lazy. I like real onion. Not onion extract, as they call yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> onion formed into an O. <laughs> Yo, speaking of lizards, do you guys want to talk about lizard people or what? <laughs> Good segue. Oh. Good segue. Is there lizard people? Is I don't there? know, man. I don't even know what they are. Can what you... is a lizard person? Yeah, educate us. You too, educate us. You I think too. you, uh, mean, Paul? <laughs> you, you, pull the, you pull the skin off your head and then all of a sudden it's like a giant lizard head, right? <laughs> like a cartoon. Oh, I thought you were going to get serious. I was like... <laughs> No, yeah, they talk about people like the Queen and people that have, you know, they're they're eighty, ninety year, years old, and they they kind of seem like they've been that way forever. They don't age, and ah. yeah. So people speculate, maybe not lizard, reptilian. You know, people talk about yeah different kind of genetics in these people, but or like fake queens, like a like the real queen died. But this is some fake girl that looks exactly like the queen, kind of conspiracy. Yeah, for sure. Shit. Like who knows where we are with cloning technology too, right? Too. So. Yeah. Cloning, cloning <laughs> but you're gonna clone you're gonna clone a 90 year old fucking lady ready to croak you're that's what we're spending our money on instead of like the best scientists we're spending it on the queen hey someone who runs like oh runs my lanta yo they were saying the queen some people say again it might be conspiracy but the queen is probably is is the richest person in the world not like compared to like bezos or or uh, uh, Elon Musk, the queen, is the richest person. When you, oh, when yeah, you count guys, all her assets? I just heard she's in debt. Princes and kings. Yeah. And... Some people yeah, say she's the richest. I heard the, the queen's in the fucking debt. Uh, I, I hear, like, if you include, like, all the assets, all the land, property, all the gold that she owns, she's pretty wealthy. Yeah. yeah. I think There's she some... could probably do almost... She could probably do more than a lot of the other billionaires. Like, she has that whatever royalty family, right yeah, to, to just family money. impose herself 
play in a whole bunch of different situations that other people couldn't get into. However, she's 90 years old. Like, what does she really want to do, right? She probably yeah. just wants to fucking wake up the next day. Yeah. And that's the most important <laughs> thing, right? Like, I don't know. Could you could you imagine being that as you wake up next day and you're just like, <gasps> yes, <laughs> like, <laughs> one more day, best day ever, one more day. <laughs> yeah, but I think Mike's right. I think Mike's got a point. Like, um, I watched a movie with Daniel Craig in it. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but um, it's based on a true story. And a lot of these castles and stuff getting passed down from generation to generation, yeah. they can't even afford. These people can't even afford the taxes on their these properties that were given to them. So oh. they're like relegating out other parts of their land selling it and stuff and in this movie they were selling it to like drug dealers to grow like underground like pot dispensaries and everything and oh, like wow. they would like dig into the ground and put sea cans under there and they would like make grow ops down there and stuff Holy and apparently shit. it's based mm-hmm. on true story so yeah those people like you're saying mike are basically bankrupt they have they have assets but they don't have income so. paid the taxes and stuff and isn't that crazy that I think people in the UK, like their their taxes go to the royal family, right? And they do absolutely nothing. Like they don't make laws, rules. They can't pick wars or anything. They literally just are a royal family that collects money. That's crazy. But there's got to be something that they do for like government related representation. Like, the fuck, man, isn't that crazy? Yeah, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're just like. A... I'll have to get on old Google <laughs> later tonight. <laughs> See think of how do. well our taxes are spent, Mike. Our money oh, yeah, basically excellent. going in with the crown jewels every time we get taxed, dude. Don't anything. we pay them still? I think so. Because yeah. because they because they founded our our land or something like that. We actually like pay them. That's why the queen's on the loony. <laughs> yeah. Her head's like on the fucking thing. loony. Yeah, man. We probably pay for the uh, what's it called? Is this the governor general? Like yeah. the person who represents the queen? It's yeah. Whatever their the governor general's wage is like. I don't know, like four hundred grand a year or something ridiculous, and, yeah. and she's like the representative on behalf of the monarchy. So yeah, we probably pay her wage, but not maybe directly to the UK, but kind of indirectly, <laughs> yeah. sure, right? For representation, yeah. Either way, it's oh. stupid. But <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Either Just way, because... I'm send, sending the queen a pound of something. <laughs> <laughs> A pound of crickets to keep your yeah. reptilian, your reptilian <laughs> yeah. happy. Yo, go, going back to cloning, I'd take two mics for sure. <laughs> Yo, but come on, man. You're wasting yeah. your, like, your best technology on this queen. Oh, I'm queen. sure like Prince Harry is going to be the next in line. Like, Why don't you just go down the pole? Oh, that's true. That's true. Why on the queen? That makes it- no sense to me. Just for a figurehead. Yeah. Just people for a figurehead. People, people don't have people don't have trust maybe in like the princess and the that's true. princes and the princesses and stuff. The queen is like maybe the last connection that people have to like the old royalty, right? That's huh. that stands for what they think, you know, it's yeah. supposed to stand for. So Yo, if the queen Who's dies, that? do we have to change all our coins in to like the next <laughs> king, you know what I mean? Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe, man. No, because so. no, if you look at the five dollar bill, it was I think Justin McDonald or something like that, or oh, yeah. something like that. Five dollars, uh, Wilfred Laurier, I think. Or now it might have changed, but before the guy was been dead for a while. So. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? When they die, it should be worth more, like when rock stars die and stuff. <laughs> a signed twenty dollar bill from the Queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With her blood on it, With so much. <laughs> even more. <laughs> oh, Mike's God. dad, dark dad joke of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone so dark. Dark, dark dad. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how lizards like it. Maybe I'm a lizard. I like <laughs> it in the dark. Does it count it's as blood not... if it's green? <laughs> Maybe my t- my spit wasn't uh, spit at all. It was my tongue, my lizard tongue. <laughs> 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 Yo, speaking heard, of money. Uh, oh, go ahead, Paul. I was going to say, uh, in talking about the royal family, it's not all just lizards, because I read one the other day that said Meghan Markle's a robot, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a robot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You guys, this is just too much. First, we got lizard people mixed in with robots, yeah. and they're getting married. Oh, my God. She's Atlanta. a robot. Mega yeah, Godzilla. He's a, a lizard. You don't know. <laughs> you Jeez. Mega Godzilla? 
Well, you know, like T2000. Yeah, we might be there with robots if not there already. Have you seen these like AI robots they have? And yeah. like their skin, everything looks good. It's just kind of their movements now and what they're saying that you, you can tell that they're robots, but it's getting pretty damn close. A little to laggy, that. yeah. I've seen the <laughs> Japanese ones, yeah. but they're, they're still the ones that I saw. Look, you can tell they're fake. I don't know. You can tell they're fake. You know, it'd be sweet. We should do a podcast with just four robots. But they'll be wearing our clothes, and we'll see how the conversation goes. No, we got to do you... a podcast with three robots and one lizard person, and you got to pick. Up the you got to guess. Yeah, you got to guess who's who. Three robots and Kyle, and then uh, each robot's head a different time. Yeah, they're all bald with big beards. You got to guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Have you seen those videos, Mike? Where they have these AI robots that learn while you talk to them. And you ask them questions and they kind of like, <laughs> they scan the whole database of like Google and everything while they're talking so they can huh. like look up information and yeah, just progressive thinking robots. But it always turns off super creepy like yeah. in the end. Yeah. They're, they're blinking at you and shit. I saw, I saw it just like on Instagram. It was just, uh, I forget who, who posted it, but it was this robot. It was, it was yellow and gray and the guy literally like pushed it. And it looked like it was going to stumble and fall. And it yeah. got back up. Yeah. And then they literally shot it and, like, clotheslined it and, like, battering rammed it. And this thing fell down and just got right back up. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. Yo, I was, I was like, I am so, like, I was freaked out. And I think it had a gun. I think it was holding a gun. <laughs> well, that's Seriously. <laughs> it, it was nuts, man. Yeah. It was like. It's like, oh my god, I can't even believe this. I don't even want to look at this because this just means we're going to get attacked. And Robo then, cop? <laughs> not even like a week later, it was all CGI. It's just some dude. Oh. They're, they kicked a dude. Yeah. And then they, like, they obviously edited his movement. Oh. And so when he stood back up. It was fake. Because it looked so real. Yeah, it was all fake, man. Oh, no way. Yeah, so I was like, off. Oh, Go pound sand. Sucked into those conspiracies. Like, <laughs> believe all that crap. <laughs> yeah, I've what? seen those robots do backflips. Though, did you see that robot where it kept doing backflips and it kept landing? But I saw the video. Maybe it was fake, but I, I the the video that you saw, Mike, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was real too. They were they kept pushing this robot over, but it wouldn't. Yes. It wouldn't fall over. But it might have been yeah. fake. I don't know. I guess. It was the same guys. There's, yeah. There's another one that they have where the robot is like. It's like a dog. It's a quadruped, yeah, so it's on man. four legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but it has like a crane arm that has like a hook on it, oh, and wow. it can open doors for itself. Wow. And it, like crawl over obstacles. And they did something similar, but this was like an actual robot. Yeah. Where uh, he can open doors fine and get open, get into a room, right? Yeah. And <laughs> he would go to open the door. And they would fucking slam the door on the robot, and they just keep slamming the door until he figured wow. out a different way to like get his foot in, so he could get inside of the door. Dang. Wow, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. They're they're really putting them through the ringer. It's not like it was even Those a few dogs years are crazy. Ago. Drones yeah, and the dog robots. Jeez, yeah, we're outnumbered, boys. <laughs> we're fucking out. They're like, yeah, these these robots are gonna be so helpful. See, this one can lift a box for you. And this one can load a rifle in three seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're hooped. Take out That's why I, st I stocked up on microwaves. <laughs> I, I stocked up on magnets. I those fuckers inside and out. Yeah. <laughs> Get a bunch of magnets. They're hooped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beep, boop, <bro>, beep. <laughs> Yo, man. Well, you, did you, guys, you guys heard the news about the Capitol storming A, where that guy drove the car into two officers? No, I heard no. something about that. I was like, yeah. that was wild. I don't know yeah. what, what got them started or anything. I think yesterday or that two was, days ago. Recent? Yeah, yesterday yeah, or two recently. days ago, a guy drove okay. into the Capitol and purposely ran over two officers. One of them died. The other one's in critical condition. But then he got out of the car with like a knife and was charging at officers. And then he got that, shot. Yeah. In the U.S. or in Canada? Yeah. Uh, no, U.S. U.S. Yeah, US Capitol. Capitol. Yeah, crazy. Okay. But I was going to say, if they but, had some robot dogs, man... No stress. Where was all? Where's where was all this like uh, stuff when when the Trump people were storming the Capitol? Yeah. Like man. how come? How come we didn't hear anyone getting hurt then? Yeah. yeah how come? How come there wasn't One any, guy. anyone in cars running people over to keep other right? people safe? Right. I don't know, man. <laughs> so Seems a little fishy. 
Yeah. Oh, you, conspiracy? conspiracy behind it. <laughs> oh yeah, that was crazy. That was the whole. The pictures and videos and everything were just all over the place on that. Oh, one. I haven't seen. I just read the. Storm. I haven't seen any pictures of the 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 car incident. I just heard about it on like, just read it right. So. Maybe he just had one of those new self-driving cars and it just like, went <laughs> off the road. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Does anyone yeah, want well. some bread? <laughs> 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 I have some fresh bread. <laughs> it's crazy, but with all this dividing everywhere, you know, this um yeah. like Black Lives Matter, anti cop, anti and it's every it's like anti everything but like, you know, no one's really putting pressure as much pressure on like the government and like the the richest percent, like where really all the decisions are really actually being made from. Yeah. You know, every, every, we're all getting turned on each other, right? It's like um, gay, black, police. Like, it's just all, we're all middle class and we're all just trying to live and do our own thing and we're all kind of getting turned on each other for no reason. The so. media. Yeah, the media does a pretty bad job too. Mm hmm. But about what though? Good what news. are you saying they do a bad job on? Good fake news. news? The way, yeah. How do, you, how do you know it's fake? How do you know it's fake? Exactly. How do you know it's real too, right? Because, because well, there is all. Yeah, says man. It this way, and this channel says the opposite. Yeah, way, so man. One of them's got. So who do you believe? Well, exactly. exactly. So one, it yeah. could be either CNN or it could be whatever online. Exactly. You know what I mean? It could be anyone. Whatever the other, it could be Fox. That's wrong. But I'm just know, saying. It's all you know is you're being lied to by someone. Yeah. <laughs> that's Who's why supposed it, to be telling you the honest news, the unbiased honest yeah. news. That's yeah, but why, even if they, sorry, if even if they told you all the same story, you'd be like, well, there's no difference out there. You'd be like, oh, they're just hiding it. They're just hiding it. Hiding the truth. There's a difference truth. between just like reporting facts and just stating your opinion, right? Like if there you if go. somebody comes on the news, if somebody comes on the news and says, um, oh, uh, a guy drove a car into the Capitol building and he two killed two people, that's a fact. But if they said Oh, but he did it because he was a Donald Trump supporter. Well, then, you know, yeah. unless he's publicly stated that or he's, you know, somebody's deciphered that from his own words, then exactly. yeah. it could just be an opinion, right? So Yeah, exactly. You got to kind true. of filter and, and, out. And you're right, Paul. We have one news article say guy ran into the Capitol, killed two people. That's pretty much all the story has to be for the most part. But then the next yeah. exact other news story will be like guy runs, drives into the Capitol, kills two people, one of them's black. And it's like... You know, they're yeah. like, they're trying to tilt it to a point where they white driver, race. black person. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, or it's yeah. got to be, it's got to be edgy. Or right? the guy like, was a Christian or the guy was a Muslim. And yeah, yeah. they try to make it religion, race. Yeah. yeah. It's got to check some really, other box. Yeah. I re heard a really crazy, kind of along the same lines, just an absolutely unbelievable story about a teacher and a student from down in the States that kind of had a similar misleading title because it was... It was messed up no matter if it was a white person and a black person or two white people or two black people. But it was a teacher who was teaching a student who was, I think, five years old. So he's probably like grade one, grade two, something. I'm not too sure. But I think like kindergarten or preschool and stuff around there. Okay, grade yeah, one yeah. So would be. He's around like, that like kindergarten, grade one um, age, right? And so this this kid um backed up the toilet he put too much toilet paper in the toilet yeah and the teacher made him there it was full of like feces and toilet paper oh. and the teacher made him reach in with his bare hands oh. and unclog the toilet Dang. and then they said the teacher was white and the little kid was black oh. right and so it's a fucked up story no matter what yeah. race anybody yeah. is yeah um, and then, like, the teacher didn't say, obviously the teacher is crazy, but the teacher didn't say any derogatory racial slurs. Yeah. So the fact that the, the race of them was in there seemed like a irrelevant point. Well, from, yeah, it wasn't, from it me wasn't, reading the story. Yeah, right? it wasn't the, a white kid clogged the toilet and <laughs> she sent the black kid in to unclog it, right? It was like, like, it's still crazy if, if anyone clogs the toilet. Yeah. You don't make a little kid pull it out. Yeah, yeah he's a child. He has no idea what's going on. But you literally don't put your hand in the toilet. There's plungers or snakes. Yeah, yeah. get the janitor. Board, man. But... <laughs> Unless you drop your keys or something in there, you don't flush them, then you get your hand in there for sure. <laughs> I feel like... You've never done it? I have. Yeah, I was going to say. You <laughs> have. Get the snake. 
Um, did the teacher get fired? Oh, probably. Uh, she was, she was on leave without pay while they uh, investigated it. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, there was actually a similar, a similar complaint to the same teacher oh, about an identical geez. situation. So she's actually done it before. Oh shit! So, oh, I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. Crazy I blame the government story. for not supplying plungers, right? Not preparing <laughs> schools properly. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Teacher stressed out. There's poop going all over the floor. Her Lack of plungers. Like, unclog it herself. This I, think it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's Lack Al of Gore's plungers fault. everywhere. It's Al Gore's fault for installing. Yeah. Them. You know, Matt, you should go to the legislature. <laughs> hold a plunger. Hold a plunger sign. We want plungers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a plunge demic, man. There's <laughs> inflation on plungers, man. Yeah. I blame Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Natural <laughs> rubber is at an extra cost yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's gross. But, like, you know, think about your occupations, guys. It's like these cops get suspension with pay, teachers get suspension I with know, pay. I know, right? Like, for stuff that's crazy, like what minimal <laughs> thing would you do at work that's wrong where you would get your ass handed to you, you'd get thrown out the door, like yeah, yeah. just for yeah. talking to a for customer fucking the wrong around. way or having a bad day. Yeah. Hey, has anyone yeah. has anyone been sent home with pay yeah. yet? Never. Like no, <laughs> like never in my life has they been like, okay, <laughs> you know what, go home, yeah. but I'm paying you to go <laughs> home. Yeah. yeah. Take yeah. it easy now. <laughs> yeah. It's just another yeah. thing that takes incentive away from like not doing bad things right when yeah. you're you don't actually get a consequence you get paid time off punishment to think yeah. about what you've done so they must be a, like under contract though like that's why they can't um can't not or can't ho hold their Money, their wages yeah. or something like that like they maybe they signed a contract for a year a where salary. it's like yeah i get x amount of dollars every month so they have to just send them home. It has to be something like that that's in their contract. Or... Either way, it's like 2021. It's like you think we would have some of this stuff ironed out in society by now where, like, you know, a cop couldn't do that to someone. And just be well, like, they're probably fighting so they don't lose that. Yeah. Or find yeah, their They're probably saying human human rights or something, saying that, oh, I can't, we can't lose that yeah. that benefit or something, you know. We're, we're in the line of fire all the time getting shots fired at us, and now we, now we can't live. Or do what yeah, I don't know. Do what they do to athletes. Yeah. So like athletes still get paid their salary, and but if they do something bad or they get suspended, they usually get a fine. They should do that to cops or teachers. Just fine them like ten grand, and then put that ten grand into like plungers for the school or some shit. Yeah, but then, <laughs> I don't know. Then you got you get you get little Miss Kerbopel who fails you for <laughs> for not writing a good essay, and then you're like, oh, well, you know what? Yeah. Um, I she on, fucking I, put me in the corner and hit my wrist with a ruler. <laughs> no, ten grand, ten grand on her. Geez. Fine, investigate. You know, I, I agree with Young, but I think the whole department, like his partner, his supervisor, oh, yeah. like there should be a punishment, uh, yeah, a yeah. certain amount of punishment from the bottom to the top to change the whole culture there, right? Yeah. Because these people are being trained on the bottom line, and just like CEOs and companies and shareholders and stuff, yeah. no one's getting punished but uh, the working class guy out there. Like you're saying, Mike protecting himself he's he's fighting for his life every day and he's obviously not getting the right tools to succeed because he got in that job for the right reason for the most part if and if he's making mistakes like this there's there's issues in the system so and i'm not saying all of them are good no nah. like I, like not everyone can be good obviously right there's obviously some some ones that maybe got seen too much or whatever the case is that that they're effed up right yeah that's like life, like, too. I don't think uh, anyone really starts out bad. It just depends on your... I think the like, thing that it boils down to is generally, like, unions and stuff like that are, are good. But there's some that exist out there, and it's really on, like, a region-by-region region basis and country-by-country. Country. There's some out there that just have too much power and too much pull and too many things in their favor. For most countries, including North America... Police are one of those where they have um, a lot of, like, deniability if something happens. And so it, it just needs to be balanced out, right? Yeah. That's all it is. Is they're, they're not inherently good or inherently bad. There just mm -hmm. needs to be checks and balances. And in some places, there aren't checks and balances. Yeah. And so, so 
people need to be able to be protected, but they also need to be able to be punished yeah. in the right scenario, right? Exactly. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. It's like you say you go to work, Mike, and it's like, you know, we need you to get this job done. And it's like, well, do you have these tools for me? And it's like, well, no, but we have this tool, and it's not the right tool. And it's like, well, how am I going to get up to do that? Like, it's, yeah. it's high up, right? It's like, yeah. um, well, we have a harness, but we don't have an extension ladder. But we have this yeah. ladder. You just have to kind of, you know, so everything oh, just gets but more But don't more climb up at the top. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We don't have a ladder, but, but we have a small trampoline. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you just bounce you know, up there. Yeah, it's not as safe as it's supposed to be, but it needs to be done. So it's yeah. going to have to wow. happen. So, yeah. yeah. Well, the good thing with legislation now is, um, but I think you, I think a lot of uh, workers don't know. But uh, if, yeah, you have the right to uh, refuse unsafe work. But with that said, usually when you report something like that, like let's say Andy's scenario, then you usually you put a, you put a target on yourself, yeah. right? Well, for a lot of times, so you're, you're the next. It guy sounds good getting fired or laid off. Yeah, it sounds good, but a lot of it's just you know politicians and like owners and stuff like covering their own asses and like <laughs> doing their paperwork for sure and in the end you're still the one who's getting punished you're the one who's getting your wage lowered you're the one who's <laughs> lizard people paul's got the cheese yeah yeah there you go that lizard tongue came out now who's the lizard person <laughs> yeah what was that milk cheese conspiracy andy but with uh... <laughs> oh, oh the butter thanks game. for bringing that up because that came back because oh, it shit. turned out it wasn't Oh shit! They thought it might have been that um, palm oil. Oil, we palm oil. Yeah, yeah, palm Fuck. oil. But turned out it wasn't. What is it? See, like I don't know. All this conspiracy shit. Fuck, man. Just give me some goddamn butter. Like, <laughs> man, life's too short to worry about my palm oil and my yeah. butter. My yeah. butter not melting, man. Well, they're saying because and this is the other their new theory was since um, demand went up so much because people were going and they were freaking out and buying more milk and stuff. Yeah. Like they're used to the same demand, maybe a little increase the population stuff. But there's such a huge amount of demand that the machines and they were milking their cows like more than they are, they're used to and oh. stuff. So they're saying that was affecting the trying know, those teats. Milk and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're getting the bottom of the barrel stuff too now. Yeah. So. Yeah, mm. during during the pandemic, like they were seeing like toilet paper was like low on stock and Clorox wipes, but then they were saying like flour and like baked goods were like super low on stock too. Yeah, because everyone no, they weren't low on stock. It's just because everyone was buying like four or five yeah. fucking things. That's <laughs> why they yeah. ran out of stock. Yeah. They're, do you, do you they're think they're buying flour because they're like, yeah, I got to bake, or do you think they're like doing Home Alone traps where like the uh, person goes to the window and they get blown <laughs> with a. Uh, a fan with a bunch of flour in their face. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they're Tarred mixing feathered. They're mixing flour with their cocaine and selling more of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Got to turn to illegal flour sales. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy, man. I was I was very surprised when they said that they were running out of uh, flour and baked goods. Oh yeah, man. Yeast is a big one, right? Because you need crazy. to rise it for bread. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. Here and there's a big conspiracy there. What happens when, and you know, when that boat in the Suez Canal and stuff went sideways and stuff, and you could see those issues, but what happens when our supply chains go down, right? Mm. When you can't not just get toilet paper, but when the grocery stores aren't getting food, and within seven days, like, you know, a lot of people, that's what they say, seven people only have about seven days worth of food in most of their houses. Oh, wow. Yeah, but and what's the like, conspiracy I mean, on that? The conspiracy you're saying, is... You're saying the stores run out, yeah, because they don't have a full warehouse in the back. It's just whatever you see on the shelves and, like, one small rack in the yeah. back. like. Yeah, so, yeah, so what happens, right? What do you do? You it's going to go down because everyone's everyone's mega buying. Everyone's buying two times what they need. Well, people aren't even buying. Panic that buying. As soon as, they know, as soon as they know the supply chains are down, people are in there looting, right? People are in there... People are thinking, I need to, to get my food want. before someone else does. So whoever it is goes there and cookies. buys more. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't I don't need to just bake some cookies, Young. I need to bake 100 cookies. <laughs> I need to bake 100 cookies. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was th I'm thinking it's going to be more, that would have, it would be end up being more scary than any zombie movie ever seen. Like real yeah. people who can think. Well, like, the, sh the shitty thing with out. Canada, too, is like we got a winter. Like if, you, if it was like a full summer, you could have your garden, you kind of grow your own vegetables and food. Yeah. But man, like Canada having winter, yeah, we're hooped for like six months. Edmonton, especially six months out of the year, or eight months, ten months out of the year, we can't grow like proper vegetables or food. Yeah, that that would be tough. And people people gain weight, so they look like a little tastier and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the first person you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a lot of fat. I don't know if you had like a fatty piece of steak. The oh, fat's pretty chewy, man, and it so don't good. go down very well. <laughs> so good. You want that muscle. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you don't know when you're getting that la- next piece of steak, you'll eat that fat. You'll <laughs> eat that fat. <laughs> yeah. You'll cook that up and gargle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. And you got to decide what kind of zombie you're going to be in that kind of scenario. I'm going to be like a World War Z zombie. I'm just going to be like running, <laughs> climbing up walls, taking what's mine. Yeah. Actually, the good thing with North America, though, like, as long as you can drive a car across borders, like, I think North America, South America, we're, we're pretty good. Yeah, the Suez yeah. Canal, like, I don't know what, who or what uh, items go through that canal. And Everything. Countries, yeah, I, hits your everything yeah. produce perishables anything everything you name it electronics Africa. yeah and you're yeah, hitting oil so coal yeah. everything that's crazy yeah, like man. 50 billion dollars in setbacks and that wasn't even before they got it dislodged i don't even know if they have it dislodged yet yes yes here. he's free yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but i was a couple days ago 20 containers yeah 20 like shipping containers, sea cans full of just sex toys. It was just one <laughs> shipment trying oh. to get through. Angry people. Just try, angry people. <laughs> just trying only to get to Canada. Yeah. 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 Only the essentials. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. actually, like, yes, yeah, so you don't even need the motor to go. You just turn them all on. <laughs> vibrate. Yeah. 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 Vibrate across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, know, I don't know a lot of the, the history on it, but um, I was seeing something the other day where they were talking about how um i guess the suez canal was initially like created like it was it was dug dug up yeah and so they were talking about like just to be a trade route so they just basically like created it whenever they created it and uh they were talking about how crazy it would be nowadays if somebody who is like our government was like oh we should dig like a river that flows through the province that yeah. will be a great trade route for the for Alberta, right? Yeah, like yeah. it would be the yeah. most outlandish like oh, yeah. Yeah, you've man. ever heard, right? but, <laughs> but it is it is that for that part of the world, right? Oh, or for yeah. the whole world, I guess, right? Well wow. even yeah, back in the day, I mean, yeah, people used to trans like the North Saskatchewan River, people used to transport goods that way and from Edmonton all the way to Saskatchewan, or even Winnipeg, all the way to Winnipeg, right? I think it drains into Lake Winnipeg. So yeah, back in the day, man. It's, yeah, it's crazy, man. Get those rail railroads yeah. built across yeah. everywhere before anyone actually could say anything, right? You just crazy. see a railroad come across. Now everything's connected, you know. Yeah, now yeah. you can't go. You can't even get a pipeline across your own country. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yo, nope. yo, let's touch on that conspiracy. So, like, the evolution yeah. of technology, man. So, Justin oh, mentioned on a podcast. On yeah, Justin mentioned on a podcast, like, weeks ago. Or, uh, yeah, months ago, even, that that alien technology. Like, humans have alien technology. That's why our the, the growth in technology or the evolution of technology has grown so quickly in the human race based on us finding alien technology. What's your take on that, Andy? Have you heard stuff on that or a little bit on that? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy when they talk about how old the actual the pyramids are, how, you know, physically they had they didn't have cranes, they didn't have things that could put them together and they show how these rocks were connected and formed in the yeah. pyramids and stuff, you know, tons and tons and how they were looked like they were smooth with like almost modern day equipment and stuff, right? Like they couldn't they couldn't do the the stonework, move the stones, do the the you know the the way they carve them and everything like it just wasn't possible back then they still to this day haven't come up with a science that explains what they had back then and how they could do it except for they say that every so many years there's a there's a there's an issue a lot of information's lost and a lot of technology is lost with it Hmm. like you know if y2k would have actually happened like they said (laughs) i was just gonna say that yeah 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 yeah, Y two K. Yeah, when the clock strikes twelve, <laughs> that's it. We lose it all. Thanks for going crazy. But that's the thing. That's one thing. But like, what you know, if a meteor did hit us and it was the size of you know yeah. uh, a small city, it's enough to you know cover the whole, you know, block out the sun and really like probably reset most of the world as we know it and delete most information stuff. Right? If it takes five, ten, fifteen, twenty years to oh. to get back. 
how much information are you losing? All our information's on like computers, right? Like, so I don't know. It's... But I think now we're so far ahead with satellites yeah. that that we'd be able to beam it pretty quick. Mike, like, think I think if... we'd be able to catch up. Mike, think if three quarters of your population died. All those brains, all those scientists, mm. all those engineers. It doesn't matter how smart you are. Even if the information's there, it's like you lose. You're you're going backwards. <laughs> like there's no. Well, you're definitely <laughs> slowing down. But everyone, it, the mad craze would be to have kids. You'd be pumping out kids, and it'd probably be in what Repopulate. forty years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially I the. Don't know. I think definitely it would slow down. Obviously, because you got three quarters of the population. Yeah. But. But the creation of the internet, like everything's saved on the internet. All this data, formulas, algorithms, like. Just having the internet itself, you can just teach people smart things and think about yeah, it. Yeah, I think uh, I think technology in general is kind of like exponential, right? Is, yeah. I I don't necessarily think it's it's alien. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying it's, that either. It's just that the more advanced things get, the easier it is to get even more advanced, and it just kind yeah. of jumps up and just jumps like up. Spikes, yeah. Yeah. What about the and the idea that the military has technology, you know, 20, 25, 30 years more advanced than the the average people see, right? And when that when that technology gets decommissioned and declassified, then it comes down to us to use, uh, right? Like our cell phone technology, our style of Wi Fi, everything is how all many, ancient. That makes sense. I, I agree with that. I think they, they need to have have higher technology and they're not gonna release their secrets otherwise then they're going to be dead in the water. Mm. Yeah, and it starts um, as a military grade stuff, and then yes, not, correct. When it's yeah, come outdated, they interesting. Yeah. How many different ways can you find to kill a person? <laughs> like <laughs> some of their camo and their glasses and stuff like yeah, that. They're drugs. probably wearing like I'm yeah, sure and all that. I, I, for years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe Is that they had the technology course? for it. Yeah. Well, maybe but, not that far. Camouflage. <laughs> but like Young's saying, too, and like even like Justin, like touching on that, it's if we did get some technology, if something was on a meteorite, if something, if something, you know, came from another on the moon galaxy or, some or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and our government or military got a hold of it, like, you're, they're not going to tell you about it, right? Like, yeah. so if there is extra technology there that it wouldn't take much to advance us if it was... If it made it here, right? If it was... Is that what have Area 51's you, you for? Guys, I was going to say, have you guys watched the Bob Lazar and Area 51 documentary? No. Or, or no. It is? Where is it on? So, I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Um, so it's it's really good. I It's Area 51 and Bob Lazar. And the guy is basically just uh, extremely intelligent... Uh, logical scientist who when he was younger he basically became like a like a rocket scientist or an engineer he designed a lot of things and at some point he got um, he got hired by area 51 he was there for a short period of time and uh, he generally doesn't really like talking about it mm. but he has a couple interviews um, and he's just he just talks about everything very, like, matter-of-factly. You know, people ask him all these questions about, like, oh, did you see alien bodies while you were there? And he's like, no, uh, I'm a scientist. So they just they put me in a room with one other scientist, and we worked on this segregated little part. And mm. he has something cool. Just on the thing that he was working on was, um, I mean, obviously I'll butcher it here. Because I'm not a fucking rocket scientist, yeah. but um, he was basically talking about some element that they had found that wasn't a known element on Earth hmm. uh, that played properties that nothing on Earth can display. And he kind of worked on like the propulsion system of uh, a ship that they had found at Area 51. Oh, wow. And he was only there for like a short period of time. Um, and then he actually something really stupid like he went they were testing the aircraft and he he was really young like he was in his 20s or something like that and he took a couple friends out to a lookout point um over in that area so that they could watch what he was doing because he wasn't supposed to talk about it right mm. 
he took a bunch of his buddies to go watch them testing it in the middle of the night, and they found out about him, and they basically kicked him out of the program. Oh wow! And, and he, yeah, there's there's a lot of documentation on him, but it's definitely worth a watch. It's crazy. Um, just, it's, it's not some like crazy fucking guy in the middle of a desert who's trying to Naruto run at Area <laughs> 51. Like, yeah. like, a, like a guy who could be your, your dad or your grandpa, who's just a super intelligent scientist yeah, yeah. talking about something that he actually worked on with his hands, right? Interesting. When you hear about that all the time, like most of these guys, they get together and they say, yeah, they're in these departments, segregated, segregated, segregated. Like the best minds in... Like yeah. guys like, oh, I was top 10 in, in this university for this science program and they brought me on and I had this very specific like like set of like equations I was working on. And once I completed that, they said thank you and I was on my way and they have, you know, hundreds of scientists mm. doing it and you, you don't know what you're doing. There's, yeah. you know, yeah. a couple people <laughs> compiling it also. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. Super secret, man. And that's the thing, like, yeah. It's like smart, though. One else. Because then what oh, just, like, can I go back to that what if what if uh, whatever someone else wants that technology? If he knows too much, he gets kidnapped. Yeah, and then boom, technology yeah, well, gone. He's got to give up his secret. That's why you only let them do an equation or a couple. It's smart. Yeah, there's only there's only going to be a couple people who know the whole picture, yes. the whole scope of everything. Yeah, and then there's like hundreds of people who are just kind of segregated into their little sections who have no idea what's going on. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, man. But that's the it's thing, cool right? Stuff. Like, there's only so many elements. They've done so much with, like, fusion and all this stuff. So, yeah, one alien element that's new to this world, like, think of what, you know, if they could reproduce it to make infinite an infinite power source. Like, who yeah. knows, right? Like, there's... It's literally, it's literally like the story from the Avengers, right? When, yeah. <laughs> when they figure out what Wakanda's doing or whatever, and then they get all the technology and yeah. everything changes, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. In a lot of sci-fi, it's based off um, hypotheses that aren't proven yet. And if you go back yeah. and watch a lot of the Star Star Trek and stuff, the episodes and the science is written by actual scientists, and a lot of it's proven itself. It was it was a pipe dream back then. It was just sci-fi, and like a lot of it's become tr- true. Like the phones they were using, like the, the lighting, everything is starting to become like hmm. like true because it's just the yeah, yeah way of technology. It's crazy. Yeah. Were you see something, Mike? Yeah, um, the ah um, uh, in Sw- in Switzerland they have that proton accelerator, right? Oh, is that what large, it is? Yeah, large hydron collider. Or collider, hadron something like that. Collider, yes. But the uh, scientists there discovered four new elements. Shit, four nuclear yes. power, and, or what are they doing with it? No, um, I don't know what they were doing with it. I, I read the article; it was a while ago, but. That was recently. That was like probably less than a month ago. So there's still technology out. Like I think maybe we just haven't discovered it all. Yeah. I don't think it's like mm-hmm. like new. It's new to us, but we just didn't have the technology to to look at it before or the find tools, it. Yeah. So exactly. exactly. Like we're not actually are. finding alien stuff. We're just we're just we overlooked it for so long yeah now it's new you know what i mean it's always Uh, been here yeah it's true yeah they talk Uh, about our senses are can only see and touch and feel so many things so yeah we need to keep working on our instruments to be able to yeah gotcha look at this stuff there's a there's a conspiracy theory with the large hadron collider too it's um because they're trying to they're basically trying to recreate um the big bang that happened like the creation of the universe they're trying to Mm. simulate it so that they can study what happened to the particles and stuff and so they spin particles around this giant circle and they smash them together wow and that's that little point of energy uh, these two tiny little particles going at light speed over the course of like i don't know like a couple dozens hundreds of miles whatever it is and they smash together and they explode and that's how they see the new particles that they've seen recently right is they're still mm-hmm. just studying that but when they first made it before they first tried it out they said it was gonna do one of two things it was either gonna open the gates of hell <laughs> or, it was, or it was going to create a black hole that oh, was yes. going to 
suck the earth into it and Jesus basically destroy Christ. everything. See, yeah, yeah. Both, like, both good things. Let's, <laughs> let's just try and yeah. keep trying. Yeah, let's give her a test run. Yeah. 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 Don't what's, tell anyone. We'll just do it. Home, right? <laughs> no, that's crazy. Uh, dude on night shift. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's scary to think that it will probably be the end of us. It was just going to be a huge oh, science that, eh? issue. Well, think of like nuclear plants that have went down and stuff, right? Like, yeah. think, like they're bringing that back, stuff. by the way. Nuclear what? That? Nuclear plants. Mm. Yeah, for green energy. Getting away from so coal. we don't use yeah. coal. Yeah, coal yeah. nuclear's coming back. Well, they're finding ways to use instead of throwing out isotopes <laughs> that they think don't have enough power to be useful anymore. Mm. They're finding ways to like reuse the. Um, the almost drained ones or whatever that are going to take hundreds of years for their half-life to become not you know nuclear anymore yeah. to reuse yeah. them to to get like you know way more efficiency out of them right which is kind of cool too what's the what's yeah. like do you guys understand how nuclear plants work like is it still kind of like the old school they heat water and then the steam generates energy is that or what do they do with the i nuclear? think so i it's think so still i think that's around right? there yeah. mentality i don't yeah, I don't understand exactly how they work, but I think the big problem with them is that they do create, like, good, uh, efficient energy, but they're highly volatile. Mm. And then when they're not in use anymore, uh, like Andy alluded to, the the, the half cleanup life, or whatever, I mean, oh, wow. the half life is like thousands of years, and so they just take them, they put them like the debris, they put it in big steel containers and they bury it underground somewhere wow, and then geez. of course inevitably you know like little leaks occur like thousands of years it's not going to maintain properly everything degrades right and yeah. so the steel is going to degrade from the radiation eventually and of course it and the water poisons the land poisons the air poison uh, the animals and the fish and etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah. they just don't know how to treat the waste Shoot it to space, man. Shoot it to space. Well, watch the yeah, thing, you're right. against it. You're against it. <laughs> well, Shoot well, they have the these moon. precautions. They build these, you know, concrete bases for these plants that are, what, like 10 meters of concrete. And it's just like, if this plant, like, goes down, if there's a meltdown, you know, it'll be a, turn into a sarcophagus for itself. And you have a place like Japan where the earthquake's like, we don't care how much concrete you have. We're tearing it all apart because yeah. we can tear the earth apart. We can tear apart yeah. as much concrete, concrete. as you can pour. And yeah, yeah now you got it just leaking to the ocean for hundreds of years, right? So Jeez, half man. So it's crazy. Yeah, why can't they just? It sounds easier in my brain, but why? Why don't they just shoot the the dead or the the, the unusable nuclear into space, man? <laughs> oh, you could <laughs> let it blow what up. If, uh, there. What if you shot uh, a rocket full of <laughs> nuclear debris into yeah. space? And <laughs> and I don't know how big it is. I don't know how big it's this like nuclear thing is. So. Up in the sky. <laughs> And then it just rained down nuclear waste. So yeah, get on it, get on it, Elon. Yeah. yeah, we already got acid rain. Now we got nuclear rain. <laughs> yeah. Way to go! Yeah. Oh, man. That guy's getting uh, laid off, but he's getting paid. So, yeah, paid time go off to think about what you've yeah. done. Suspended with pay. <laughs> you, you poison half the planet. Go home and think about what you've done. Yeah. Here's your paycheck. <laughs> are, are a lot of people going still using like the old school like hydro like they're building dams still some few countries are still doing that eh? as their only source of green energy or yeah like if as a thing whatever you have you make use of like iceland they have yeah. geothermal they got it coming out of the every 10 feet out of the hole in the ground so it's like oh, well wow. i guess we're using geothermal it's easy it's cheap because it's it's abundant right same with us or yeah. oil and coal yeah me we're, and andy me and Andy watched that uh, that Zac Efron documentary that was on Netflix too, and he went to Iceland and he said that they use apparently they use the geothermal energy there to heat all the sidewalks in like the whole oh, country, wow. and so the sidewalks never have snow or ice on wow. them or something like that. That's awesome. And it, yeah, I thought that was super cool. It's crazy, Mike. They put like food in pots and like pans and stuff they'll put like a turkey in the sand and it's so hot that it'll like cook it and then they just pull their food out of the sand like their eggs are boiled Jesus. their turkeys done like everything their potatoes are are cooked because there's so wow. much geothermal heat everywhere that wow. yeah it's like it's it's just abundant like crazy so hmm. and you said it was like 10 feet only 10 feet deep eh? that they could get some of that heat yeah like some of it it's bubbling like just up on the sand like Dang. 
all over the place. So wow. And that's I've been looking a lot into it too, um, because like any natural resource, I think if you tap into something too much, it could be an issue. And I'm hearing of people, you know, tapping into geothermal heavily in certain parts of the world, and it might be like fracking where they're causing like earthquakes and stuff. But I'm mm-hmm. I'm like fissures and stuff. But I'm not completely sure. I haven't looked into it too much. It's just what I'm hearing about. So yeah. Well, they got that. They're starting this new technology here. It's a loop technology, mm-hmm. where it's literally they draw, they drill a U in into the wherever, yeah. whatever farmers field, and then they just pump cold water down. The earth heats it, water rises on the other side, and it's just wow. a continuous loop. Dang. So that's what the oil field. We're gonna get one last boom here, boys. Nice. How deep? So though? get your get so your rubbers on. <laughs> We're going. It's pretty deep though. They gotta drill. So wait, wait, wait. Deep, eh? Yeah. yeah, they they pump the cold water down, the earth heats yep. it, and yep. and what it, it naturally rises. The oil, the oil rises up to the no. top, and no, it's just a loop of water. It's just for geothermal, for free energy or green energy, or or they loop use, technology, or they use what's that liquid, Mike, that they put in other heaters too. It's not water, but they they'll put it through your your pipes under your floor. It's not water, but it's oh, like a salt. Um, um, it's like coolant. Mm. Yeah. Glycol. Glycol. There you go. Good job. I think so. But yeah, wow. glycol. So yeah, it's just, it, it's just better properties in water and stuff. To, like, to accept heat. Yeah. And hold it for longer. Yeah. yeah that's what people have uh, radiant heating under their floors. And yes, you're right, Mike. They use those, the loop systems. So, glycol. Th- these new things, if you Google it, it's, it's coming up in Alberta. Saskatchewan's just made a, a big advance. Nice. The government's dumped a bunch of money into this loop technology so drilling rigs can get back out there. They drill down like 300 meters, I think, wow. into a giant giant um, circle. Well, a U almost. So, oh, shit. Oh, there you go. I'm listening to you, Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, it, it, that's, it's coming. Like, everything's coming. And I think it's just a matter of time. And it's more environmental friendly. It's sustainable. Because all... All, all it is is a loop, man. Yeah. It, the it's, earth heats uh, the, so what's the... the difference between that and fracking? Like, you're still disturbing the ground. Oh, you? fracking? We're, we're drilling a hole in the ground, and then we send a ton of pressure down there. Pressure. And it, like, yeah. literally, it you literally flat, fracks the ground, fractures it, yeah. and then yeah. the oil leaks out of those fractures of, of all those cracks. Yeah. The oil but leaks down, there... so then it's soft. Yeah, but it, if you pump down water cold because it's in a continuous tube it's in a continuous tube oh it's 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 drilled in a tube yes any drilling rig like if you if you're drilling for fracking you send down a metal metal sleeve like a metal tube in the ground right every time Hmm. all the time that's what but i see what paul's saying like disturbing the ground at all like just disturbing the land like it's easy in iceland it's coming up already they harness it that's one thing but Um, you know, the earth, what it's doing is it's getting rid of heat that it needs to, right, from the core, and it's doing it where it needs to. And it's like people, I think, not in not when they're using heat loops, because that's a little different, but I feel people using geo- geothermal where they're digging down and they're trying to tap into, like, that, like, geyser type of, like, energy or whatever, I think that's going to cause issues. But, no, yeah, the heating loops are pretty stable. safe. They're not. Yeah. I think so, yeah. And they probably have to spread yeah. them out a certain distance so you're not... Causing so I think that's a lot safer than fracking, man. Yeah. Fracking, we used to blow, we used yeah. to fracture the ground, yeah. break it into pieces, and then take what the insides are and then leave. Yeah. Well, that's the problem yeah. with oil and gas because it's getting. Here, we're just there. drilling a hole, putting pipe in the ground, and coming out the other side. Yeah. That's so safe. That's all you're doing is drilling a hole for pipe, putting the pipe down, away you go. Yeah. You're not fracturing the ground or anything. You're drilling a hole, putting pipe in. Mm. That's the thing, right? Like after a while, getting oil is not as easy because you got to go deeper and deeper. You got to come up with new technology. You need longer drilling equipment. You need yeah. to do things like, oh, it's just a little cheaper to frack. So let's do that for now until things go really bad, right? So you have to use what resources are available to your country, yeah. the sun, the the wind, whatever. And it's not just because the world's running oil and gas. That's that's where our industry is, right? So that's the problem. But it's it's just not feasible for yeah. for the world but we just force and it to every be country is different. Thing, so. yeah. yeah every country is different right like we couldn't do here what what they're doing in iceland it just wouldn't make sense and we don't have that that a lot of yeah yeah but we have a place that has a lot of hydro trees, too, right? and we could just 
burn wood sustainably for heat yeah. <laughs> forever in Canada, everybody, and it would not be a problem. Yeah. But yeah, but what about what about the? Gas. From what I understand, Andy, when you when the trees they capture that carbon and they're stored, but when you burn it, it releases that carbon that makes sense. back yeah. into the air. Which is so. Which is, you, I think it takes a lot more wood to burn than we're going to be able to grow. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't I grow my own tree in the yard and take 25 years and then cut it down and then I'm good for one winter? <laughs> I just like. Yeah. Yeah, the heat you're going to need in your house with the billions of trees out there for your like for each of your house. It's yeah. actually, if you look at the math, it's like, it's fine. Like there's the trees outnumber us like. Oh, but that would be crazy like, to cut down like trees. a billion to one. Yeah, but that—that's that. just for house heating. How am I gonna get? How am I gonna get to work? I'm just saying, once you've taken care of your house heating, like it's just that's just one thing taken care of. One last thing, less thing you have to worry about, like oil and gas for. You have your solar to subsidize that. You have your, you know, that, that's the thing. That's the thing about using these other renewable energies. So you're not putting all your eggs in one basket with oh, like gas natural and oil gas forever. I, I yeah, just, natural gas yeah, too. You're just saying. But yeah, it because would yeah, be they realize it's not efficient. sustainable. It's getting more and more expensive and more and more dangerous to to drill for oil and try to make the world run off off we, oil. We also frack natural grass wells too, so you still have to frack natural gas. Just to let you guys know. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's I don't know man. enough about that stuff to comment on it. Yeah. I will say that uh, biofuel stuff that you're oh, talking yeah. about is a little is a little scary to me. Just the idea of like biofuel. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like it's I don't like know. Methane. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just garbage. It's just bi biofuel. Yeah, yeah it's, it's garbage. There's, there's a there's a whole different pipe. I think Paul's so talking you about cut down cut down forest to to use yeah, the heat. Yeah, I for cut energy. down a tree oh. and now it's garbage. So I'm gonna burn it. Right? Oh, I see like, what you're saying. You know, like you can. I'm thinking about compost that, and poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about compost and poop. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. a documentary. Like they have some of Canada's yeah. uh, southern forests that they're literally tearing down, and and burning and using that energy to like produce. Oh wow! Like, industrial like. Yeah, it's it's crazy. They're doing stuff. they're doing basically. There's people doing what you're saying is ridiculous, Mike. There's people who are like cutting down fully grown trees that take tens, twenties, hundreds of years to grow. Wow. And just burning them for. A, quick cheap energy yeah. and Make a couple uh, t-shirts not really thinking <laughs> about the consequences right that's crazy. and like you said it all just gets released back into the air plus you're taking out something that's producing oxygen and so it's it's just like negative on top of negative right and so that that stuff freaks me out a little bit because it seems like just a obviously bad idea that then where was this Southern uh, Alberta, you said, seen... yeah southern canada like they're literally just like mowing down forests and like using them in like in industrial industry down there and in the northern states that's like, crazy literally selling yeah. like wow. millions of our trees to be burnt I've just for the... energy not for i use think for the anything. stories i, I, think I the have never heard that, that. I seen, yeah i think the stories that i've seen were from uh south america just because it's easier in places like brazil where they have the Amazon that that rainforest. i can believe that i can where believe. there's there's no there's no there's not enough people watching over it yes. and they don't really care either. And so, yeah. you know, just a, a group of 10 guys just goes and hacks a part, a part of the forest and Dang. fucking burns it down. And, you yeah. know, there probably isn't like regulations or law enforcement. Yeah. 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 But who are the ones paying for that, investing in that? A lot of people from the Western <laughs> world oh. here. Too. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. The same right? people. <laughs> Get some solar panels, man. They got so much sun down there. Yeah, Mike, that's part of what I was reading and watching was they, they call it biofuel because people don't question it because it can mean uh, burning compost, garbage. It could mean, yeah, all yeah. sorts of things. But, yeah. um, yeah, it also means, like, deep, huge deforestation for power, too. And yeah. I just really think with our increase in population, our constant need for, like, technology, and the technology is all throwaway now, right? You get a phone, it lasts for a couple of years, you're on to your next one. We used to get paid to, if we had a circuit board issue, we would do soldering we'd fix the circuit board now it's like throw it out get the next one in yeah. from china or whatever so cheap more stuff in the compost more stuff coming in so you constantly need that energy so it's like we're always going to need coal gas plus everything else geothermal like 
sun, solar, wind, water, yeah. solar, everything. Yeah, and it's and we're gonna need everything, all guns blazing eventually because our industry's not slowing down, our consumerism's not slowing down, our population, yeah, population sure isn't. So, yeah. I think they're I think they're trying to slow away from coal. There's only a couple companies that are still burning coal, right? Because yeah. it's supposed to be dirty. Unless you still... have still regulations in our even in our country that for coal you have to pay so much or you have to have scrubbers and carbon capture right that was and that was for the coal that the ndp was dealing with when they were still in power here but now and paul probably knows this with the conservative party they're doing a lot of like um speculating around and looking for new uh, uh coal mines and like pretty much planning to start digging into some mountains in bc and stuff to oh, wow. start getting some yeah. big coal reserves going so interesting yeah. Yeah, they wanted they want to get some started. I heard it was Australia, that was uh, Australia business business companies, or because Australia still mines a lot of their coal. They send it a lot to China, yeah, to get burnt for it, their yeah, for, for say, them to make steel. I was gonna say, is it for burning? Because I also heard like coal is really good for cap carbon capture. Coal holds carbon really well, and um, think, uh, coal is carbon. It's straight to, carbon. Yeah, yeah straight carbon. That's all it is. For creating steal too. Yeah. You yeah, do. metallurgy coal. Yeah. So the, it's yeah, a certain that's, type of coal. Kind of like the, that's kind of like the, the twisted world that we live in, right? Is that we, we only do a little bit of coal, and Australia does a, a lot of coal, and they ship it all to China. There you go. China converts Refines it into it. the steel, and then yeah. we buy the steel from China, yeah. right? Like it's just, <laughs> it's just this never-ending thing yeah. that global, global economy, do, right? Yeah, but... Like well, what? And that's the thing, we have the infrastructure here that's all like gas. So we deal with the oil and gas stuff and we outsource our other things. But yeah, yeah in the end, like it's good that we're 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 getting the infrastructure in for the other renewables. That's important because everything's gonna have to be all guns blazing eventually. So yeah, I yeah. but but coal and gas and oil aren't going anywhere. It might yeah. seem like they're taking a dip, but they're gonna be right where they were and within five, ten years and then in fifteen, twenty years they'll be we'll be using more coal and gas. Plus oh. everything else than we ever were. I feel like you think so. From what I think, if yeah. if if uh, if cars move away from uh, petroleum or diesel, then you're going to see a dip there. If if countries start regulating that you can only or manufacturers car manufacturers can only sell electric vehicles and that's it, no more gas vehicles, then we'll probably see a dip there, which would save no like a vehicles. lot of carbon. But yeah, but look at how many communities sprout up too um, within the last ten years. You drive. Yeah this block that block this block a new common with a new like gas place you know like businesses walmart like within yeah. our lifetime how much of our as our population or community increased so yeah there's always stuff using gas there for production of yeah I'm building thinking, materials and yeah yeah natural gas makes a lot of plastics but i think like even let's say 10 to 20 years i, I you, could, you could probably see a lot of gas stations closing down because there's no more use of gas or it's, it's going to be oh, yeah. electricity. Well, yeah, because we were talking about, yeah, electricity and, like, the hydrogen stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Like, it's super exciting, super cool stuff. But yeah, I just don't think people should kid themselves and be like, we're cleaning up the planet. Like, coal and gas are going anywhere because I just, yeah. I think with the way our need to produce yeah. and the amount of energy we need to to create new technology and propel ourselves, to send more satellites and rockets into space to do what we need to do, yeah, we're going to eat up every kind of resource. Yeah, really there's, there's a lot of science there's a lot of science there andy there's still fusion yeah. which is like the, the proton accelerator in the switzerland or whatever but there's 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 companies that are just invested in fusion which mm -hmm. is colliding uh amazon who's the guy jeff bezos or bozos or whatever his name bezos, is yeah. yeah he he's he's dumped a lot of money into fusion companies oh, nice. to yeah to get in to try to get this new energy source to power everything because it's green, right? Colliding two electrons yeah, together, I, right? Uh, I can't wait until my car has a windmill on top of it and a nuclear <laughs> reactor under the hood. <laughs> yeah. You drive through a puddle and, and your hydro <laughs> pumps light. Like, yeah. <laughs> you like the Jetsons? Is fusion it's like... work in a fraction of a second. Is fusion like <laughs> nuclear uh, power? Like, I don't really know fusion technology yeah, it's just uh, sending two electrons into each other and it's uh, supposed to make a lot of power interesting so and what's nuclear isn't nuclear something similar like uh electrons colliding? Nuclear, isn't it isn't that nuclear, uh, nuclear no fusion? like 
or they're close. I think they're close, but maybe like protons instead of electrons. I don't know. Neutrons. Well, we're <laughs> we're all talking way above our <laughs> yeah, yeah pay, way yeah. above our pay yeah. grade. Yeah. <laughs> when you're dealing with like stuff at like a an yeah. atomic level like that, I think it's all in the nuclear umbrella, right? Like yeah, yeah I think like, there's midgets involved. Or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many bigger. lizard people does it take to make a nuclear reactor? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like when they figure that out, when they can pull energy out of thin air, like yeah, that might be our saving grace. But until then, like I, I'm worried about our population increase and our consumerism. I'm like, hopefully we can uh, catch up and, enough to save ourselves, you know. Yeah. Kind of thing, so, I think I think the government's already doing a doing a pretty good job of trying to like prevent people from buying gas guzzlers and everything like that. Like, I just heard the <laughs> Supreme Court just approved. That they can charge the federal government can charge a carbon tax, and what happened to gas? It was yeah. one ten right after they got approved, one nineteen. Yeah. And I heard on the radio again, it could be fake news, but it says that it, it's going to go up eight point eight cents, which it was from one ten to one nineteen. Uh, so just because it got approved in the Supreme Court of yeah. Canada, our gas went up eight cents a liter, eight point yeah. eight cents a liter. And that was so a what tax. does that make you want to do? Because of a tax, eh? Yeah, that's a tax. Was... That's just. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because they said that the carbon tax was constitutional. They're arguing yes, so. whether it was constitutional or not, and, and the Supreme Court gave it the okay, like yeah. Mike said. Yeah, and you don't want to go out next time you go buy a vehicle or whatever. You're going to buy a fuel-efficient vehicle. You're not going to buy the biggest engine size. Yeah. You're going to yeah. buy a 1.2 liter instead of a 3.5 because gas yeah, is more expensive. expensive. Yeah. Okay? But or, then you look at, like, I'm looking at the Amazon world and all the extra gas emissions and energy people are using to get stuff online, get delivered to them, return mm -hmm. it. These planes, these boats, these delivery vehicles, like, I don't know. I don't know if we're getting any any better. Well, Amazon. They just, went to a, they just went to a common location before, like a, a Walmart warehouse, and then we drove our carbon cars to Walmart and picked it up. So I don't think it's any different. Yeah. The consumers are still eating the exact same products and getting the exact same things. Yeah. It's just instead of I'm paying the insurance and the gas to go get this product, it's getting delivered yeah. to my door. And I think Amazon and invests like billions of dollars into like getting all their delivery cars into uh, electric vehicles. They I think they started in uh, like California, so they have like some um, not a petition, but like some uh, movement that Amazon's moving towards these. Uh, getting away from like yeah like you said andy like these petroleum vehicles I, I hope so and you see like the pallets and pallets and like mm. truckloads of of stuff that Goods. gets returned that they just like throw away that goes yeah. like into the compost with their return policies and like yeah yeah it's disgusting man Co consumers like, in general yeah but i know sure. walmart's even been like that forever right yeah. like um someone returns something they can't resell it even if it's yeah. like in yeah. good condition or whatever so. give it to people or something Oh, yeah, our consumerism is brutal, man. Oh, uh, liability, liability. Yeah. As soon as they fucking gave it to someone and it starts, their, like you return to barbecue, I I go, oh, here's this barbecue, Frank. It lights his house on fire. Walmart's <laughs> getting sued. But like, the problem with that is that's why they can't. Someone, yeah. They should pay someone to inspect it. These baby car seats, they're they like, can't. They're, they're no good in two years. Yeah, they could. They could hire someone, make them qualified. They go through a certain course where they can inspect things, and they can say, no, this is still. Good this is go. still good quality, good to go. Yeah. They could, Mike. Then, what, you don't think so? You don't think people? No, I'm just saying. Expensive? I'm just saying. I'm just saying the a hairline fracture in the bottom because you're using a car seat. A hairline fracture where the belt clips in, and the guy didn't inspect it or have a crack test on it, and a, again another accident or whatever. Someone's getting sued. It's cheaper. Mm. I don't think it, that's possible. Or maybe it's a money. Not thing. in every it's circumstance. It's just as easy to have your plastics in one process, not as strong as the other, and then the seat get broken like that, right? And you can't even see it either. Like I think I'm just thinking about having jobs for people instead of throwing in the landfill. I'm trying to think of a productive Recycle way. Recycle them of somehow, yeah. Oh, going back, the, going back to the going back to the carbon tax. Um, does the, so what what does the government do with that money that they collect? Do they do they reinvest it into green energy or like? You know what I, mean? I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, who knows what the fucking government's doing with their extra eight cents a liter? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope. I hope. they're developing something to do with green energy, Got doing it. something productive with it. All I know is we're getting charged. Yeah. They're giving it back to the companies so they stay in Alberta to reinvest in. To keep in me Alberta. working. Uh, to keep you working for less money because they say they can't. <laughs> as much. 
Yeah. Like they're they're never gonna say what they're exactly buying no. with their eight cents a liter. They say they're supposed to give back to the middle class. I haven't seen no fucking eight cents a liter. Oh, the carbon tax, oh. Or you know what I mean? Or have like uh yeah. Oh, do we lose? I think we lose. Paul. We lost Paul. Paul's pissed off. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's up, Paul? Yeah, Paul we pissed him off about Walmart. <laughs> I know Paul knew some of the things, the uh, the first carbon tax we had in Alberta. I know he posted quite a bit on, like, what that was being spent on, so hopefully get back on here. Mm. Yeah, hopefully they're, like, putting up uh, wind farms or something, you know what I mean, or solar farms somewhere using that carbon tax. So. Hey, Paul, yeah, you posted, when we had our first carbon tax here in Alberta, you made a couple posts on what the, it was being spent on, eh? Uh, yeah, it was such a long time ago. Um I know, well, the the idea, I don't think, is necessarily for the government to invest it. I think it's to drive the industries to change their ways, right? Like, if it costs a company, uh, say, it used to be $50 to a produce ton. whatever, mm-hmm. and now it costs $100, right? then they'll be like, so be it. But if if somebody is producing something with a different means, say by a battery or electricity or whatever it is, and that costs them, um, I don't know, $60, and the government's going to give you an extra $20 on top of that, so maybe it's net like $40, mm. then the company that, even though it was working before, um, and they're still making money, they could improve their margins by a significant amount if they start to invest in this other mean uh, clean energy. Wow. And so it's not really, you know, it's not really about them taking the money and, and putting it back into the country, yeah. even though I'm sure that they are in some respects. Um, in, in fact, it might be to take that money to incentivize the other companies. That might be what they're doing with it. Mm. But I, I think it is just meant as a means to like slowly change the the way that everybody's going, right? That's kind of cool. Yeah, Paul, like you're completely right. Like the I'm working at a a site that's been coal coal power coal to to electricity forever, and it's turning into natural gas. And yeah, the government is, you know, they're the ones who push to you know do this five, ten year, whatever process it was to you know use less fossil fuels so yeah they're putting in tons of money nice. um they're giving like tons of like yeah subsidies and stuff to these companies to yeah, yeah help the, the long-term employees out like employees that are getting laid off because of the less need for coal and stuff there like the government's you know paying for their wages for so long and like and then just putting tons of money in for the actual like renovation and the swap over for all the, yeah. the equipment so interesting yeah. yeah that's good to see oh it's good to hear yeah yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's anyway. the Wild West right now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys want the to wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wiki, wiki, wow, wow. Earlier, I wanted to mention, actually, because we were talking about money and the Queen and whatnot, that uh, GameStop actually hired uh, Amazon's um, um, e-commerce kind of lead. So now at GameStop is actually going to take all that money that they've been, uh, they've been kind of reaping it, or uh, people have been investing in them. And then I think they're going to try to get, like, online shopping going. They're going to go towards PCs smart. and stuff. I know, eh? Good for Justin's them, Justin's out here, so I'll say it's smart. It's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Good for them. So it's, co- it's cool to hear GameStop doing that. So, uh, wow, yeah. I heard that they, well, part of the reason why I think they're, uh, they've been dying, like, slowly going <laughs> down is apparently they treat their employees like shit. It's kind of the general <laughs> consensus across the internet so yeah. i don't know you know like good for them if they're gonna change their their, their business ways. model around because yeah. they need to yeah. but hopefully they change their actual company culture around too so they don't just keep taking advantage of people too yeah. would, would that be hilarious like all these like people got together on these forums and stuff and they're like let's screw these you know these low baller investors, whatever. Yeah. Let's pump money into GameStop, <laughs> and GameStop gets on the hype. They have all this money, and yeah. then they like propel their. And they're like, but they treat their 
employees even worse than before. Just as bad. They become like this huge monster monopoly. Yeah. We yeah. created it. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would that be a kick in the ball? Yeah. yeah. But they'll still give you two bucks for your old N64. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those pricks. <laughs> it's like just becomes like the new like ss like they're like taking over the world yeah. this is like military GameStop <laughs> regime <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for them though. good good to see them any other news yeah. from uh, your end any uh, any other news this week paul you said you had something eh? uh no i was looking at well originally we were talking at uh some funny conspiracy theories yeah that, that they got up we already mentioned the, the lizard people and, <laughs> and god knows what else but there was a couple really funny ones that i came across that i just thought were hilarious i thought uh i thought you guys would get a good kick out of them there's uh there's one going on uh actually a lot online it's just that finland doesn't exist England? the country of finland, <laughs> oh, finland. doesn't exist <laughs> and uh yeah, and this one, this one is like the more you read on it, it's the more funny it is. Apparently, <laughs> Japan, Japan created Finland yeah. uh, <laughs> so that they could go out, so that they could go out and they could fish those waters around there, oh, so yeah. that uh, so that they could basically lay claim to all the the resources that are over there. Oh, and uh, they. The other thing that they said that makes Finland fake is that uh, you know a lot of times they do those global those global quizzes to say like what the happiest country is and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they said uh, no country could ever be the leader in education, healthcare, gender equality, literacy, national stability. <laughs> it's impossible. They're it's impossible good, yeah. for yeah. one nation to lead in all those things and so it must be fake. That's <laughs> so what they're just saying. It's like it's just water there. It's like the city of Atlantis. There's yeah. nothing there. They just they just plopped a piece of green land on the map. Exactly. Oh jeez. Hey there's nothing like, there, man. Good country to check because yeah, you're right, Paul. They got all those great statistics and like has anyone ever been to Finland here? Yep. Next pros no. travel. travel. Next pros yeah. travel. Nope. <laughs> anyone know and anyone people, who's been to yeah. Finland? We no. have Finnish uh, hockey <laughs> players. We have a couple of Finnish hockey players. Yeah. So and they say. People think that they're from Finland were actually somewhere else, and they don't know what they're Jeez. talking about. That's hilarious. Yeah, people <laughs> tell me they're from Finland. They sound pretty Swedish or Japanese. <laughs> yeah. They look really Japanese, man. <laughs> They look like Japanese fishermen to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is hilarious. Well, I, thought, I thought that one was pretty good. That's uh, hilarious. Another one that I thought was pretty funny was uh, apparently Keanu Reeves is immortal. <laughs> Just like the Queen? Yeah. And, yeah. and Paul Rudd and Tom Cruise. And... <laughs> but, Paul Rudd. But it is funny. Yeah. yeah. So random. <laughs> like, look at a picture of him uh, like 25 years ago. He looks yeah. like he's gotten younger. It's crazy. Hollywood, man. Hollywood. When, that's what happens with these guys is they somebody's going through some historical pictures from the 1800s or something and they find somebody who looks kind of like whoever the celebrity is <laughs> and, uh, Keanu Reeves is one of them <laughs> apparently there's some some famous like prince or king or something like that yeah. and he's you know it's like an old timey picture but he looks strikingly similar to oh, Keanu Reeves, shit. and so so they start shit um, conspiracies with that. Yeah. What, what about uh, <laughs> what about how close Justin Trudeau looks to Fidel Castro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. That's one. a crazy one. I think not. <laughs> yeah, another one that I really like is uh, you guys have probably heard this one before that. Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, is a time traveler. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because of how much stuff The Simpsons has predicted yeah. over the years. Yeah. A lot. Of, and because of Futurama, the TV show, right? Yeah. So people think he's just traveled into the future, <laughs> seen this stuff, and then he comes back and he just writes about it. Oh, and he's got this hit show. You know, this show that's defied belief and lasted longer than any other show. Yeah. So coincidentally... So uh, 
Yeah, okay. calling Trump um, as being the, the president. Time, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But what you're seriously in this guy time travel. Like, let's just look at this common sense. Like, <laughs> this guy time travel. He comes back to make a cartoon. That's it. <laughs> That's all he things. wants to do in life. You can do better yeah. things, right? You can make do a a cartoon, cartoon, other things. Make a cartoon to troll everyone to be like, I'm going to put yeah. all the future stuff in the cartoon, and then it's going to yeah. happen. Like, Donald Trump, I'm going to yeah. be the president 10 years before he becomes one. Yeah. But also, <laughs> the fact that they've yeah. had a thousand shows and they've tackled every topic every situation imaginable that yeah, like yeah. is bound to something's gonna come true there's only so many things that can happen exactly like, right in the world i don't know i heard the thing about conspiracies or conspirators what's the conspiratist <gasps> i don't know how to say that Conspiracists. When yeah when, when you when you when you stick on something and you're trying to find information based on that you'll find it you'll your mind well, it's like a psych, it. yeah it's a psychological thing like if you want to yeah. read things about negativity you'll find negativity right and then that just builds your negativity yeah it's it's it's, it's anything man it's like yeah. fucking horoscopes yeah. horoscopes oh you're gonna yeah, you're yeah. gonna come into some money today then you find a loony at the park yeah 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 oh <laughs> how the fuck did they know no way man get out of my brain <laughs> who's watching me <laughs> yeah get out of here where's my yeah. tinfoil hat yeah it's crazy man. <laughs> So I feel like every time something big happens, I'm, I'm sure someone on the internet will probably go to the Simpsons episode where they talk to Exactly. Similar but there's, there's a lot of good ones on the Simpsons. Like, yeah, there's a there lot. Like, the Trump, the Trump one was probably one of the most recent. Yeah. Um, I heard one actually when Biden got elected because um, there was an episode, like, years back where Lisa, they go into the future and Lisa's the president of the United States. Yeah. And apparently she was wearing like pearl her pearls and a dress. <laughs> and apparently um what's uh Biden's vice president? Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So apparently uh Kamala Harris was wearing pearls and the same color dress, same type of dress as Lisa Simpson was back in this oh, episode geez. years ago. So, yeah, so let me put this out there. Let <laughs> So maybe that Pamela Harris has just watched The Simpsons and decided to wear that. Did you guys ever think of that <laughs> coincidence? Like, did you ever think of that, the shoes on the other foot? We're Instead of cold. him telling the future, she just watched an episode and did it. Yeah. Or maybe Matt Groening's got a gun to her head. And he's like, I'm from the future. Yo, I heard, dress on. I heard if you scramble the letters of Lisa Simpson, it spells Joe Biden. But <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> though, like even before Biden got in, like that one of the conspiracies was that um that he's unfit, that he's there he's just uh a placement holder for Kamala Harris or oh, whatever. Yeah. That I, like I, she's yeah, gonna I take over at some point here. And if you look at his his opening speech he just had or whatever, <laughs> that he hasn't had any public speeches like th this whole time he's been in presidency yeah. and people are waiting for it, waiting for him to address like one of the only topics he was really talking about, like yeah. promising making waves on. So embarrassing. And it's a debacle. <laughs> He's up there and it's like, it's like this old man with like, um, dementia or something. Yeah. Yeah. Dementia. Yeah. And he's just like, he, he's fumbling. He's looking at his <laughs> notes. He's like, he has stuff right in front of him that he could just read from. Oh, yeah. and probably be okay. But he's like, he's like going through it and lost and it's hilarious. Mumbling. It's oh, so it's, it's, it's crazy. This guy's like the leader yeah, of the free world. Yeah, it's bad, but it's it's hilarious. He's like he's like reading. He's like, where were we? <laughs> he just like blanked out. He's just, like, yeah, you guys don't want me to really oh, get into man. detail on anything, eh? Because that's boring and oh. stuff. He's like trying to avoid like talking. About well, that's the thing with I think presidents, even Trump. When when Trump was a president, there's a team running the show. It's not just Trump. It's it's a team. Same as Joe Biden. There's a yeah. team behind yeah. him. It's not just him making these decisions. Sure, he sure did, you... he, he's a public figure, but there's a team running the show. For sure, though, you think, though, like, even if you didn't know shit, even if you're just, like, a popular person, they're putting you in that presidential thing, yeah. that you at least have the skills after a couple months to be able to memorize, like, a script. They, t yeah. they yeah. <laughs> or read the prompter in front of you or read yeah. your notes and actually yeah. be, like, coherent when you say them, right? Exactly. It just shows the quality of the candidates and the leaders we get nowadays. Yeah, oh, it's man. brutal. It's all marketing, Oh, come man. on, man. It's you can't marketing. even say that. Like, even Trump was like, yeah. can't we drink... Uh, like uh what kills covid uh can Four. we drink like Four. uh bleach <laughs> yeah. can we just um uh drink some bleach and uh we'll be fine like yeah. he's still on national television That's like true. come on man That's exactly true. yeah it's not getting any better it's getting yeah. worse out of all the qualified intelligent people we have in this world and it's like <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, those All are we your have best is, like options. monkeys to choose from. Yeah. yeah. Kanye West would have been better, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, god. He could have it sucks that like it sucks that any four of us are more well spoken and could come up with a better presidential oh, speech yeah. than Biden could have there. And it's it's not even like a question. <laughs> we have no political real like knowledge. We didn't grow up in it. He's been doing it for like yeah. forty years and he's incoherent on up there at the it's podium. all marketing it's man. crazy it's all uh it's all a show and then yeah people vote on that show popularity contest but it used to exactly. be like in high school exactly. you'd vote for like you know the prom queen queen whoever it is and yeah. they were like the jock and like the pretty girl like at least they had some kind of like look and skill and stuff but it's like <laughs> like what are we voting for now like there's yeah. just you nothing. gotta be you gotta be 80 years old yeah you gotta be white yeah <laughs> you gotta be male yeah yeah yeah, you got to be so close to losing your mind in death that it's like suspenseful every day. People don't know <laughs> if you're gonna like yeah. make it or not. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, man. All right, guys, nine thirty-five. I, I had a good time. We're hour and a half in. That's good. Dang. Should we wrap it up there. I got, uh, I got one more good one for Mike. Okay, shoot. Mike, did you know that Stevie Wonder isn't actually blind? What? <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that, i don't even know what to say man he's a good uh, actor. this whole time your world yeah just funny joke world, yeah. funny joke yeah. or it's not that it's like that pen and teller guy that teller guy like he pretends he's mute but it's a, it's just all for a show oh, yeah. yeah oh my lanta the... crazy man. So full he's does, that make, you. does that make stevie wonder like because he was an amazing blind pianist and like singer and like artist but now, if he was actually faking it the whole time, does that just make him like an average yeah. musician? Yeah, He's just a regular, yeah. Musician. regular musician. Yeah. Put him to the test, man. Put him to the test. I, I, I think he passed away. I don't know if he's alive still, young. Oh, you asshole! Is he? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's alive. Rest in peace, Stevie Wonder. If you're, if you're dead. <laughs> your secret's safe with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Apparently, there was a video online of. Um, he was singing or something like that, and his mic stand fell, and he caught it out of the air. Yeah, that but that daredevil. That was, that was he's got that daredevil. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> he's got those those other senses are heightened. Yeah. Yes. Was it raining? Was it raining yeah. on stage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> his yeah. mic falls. He's just like. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Before, <laughs> right before he dies, he opens his eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pops up like the Undertaker. <laughs> oh, oh man. Awesome guys. Oh, I wanted to touch one more thing. We guys were talking about lizard people. And this can go down a, a rabbit hole, but I, we won't we won't touch on it. But wasn't I thought lizard people like lived in like there's a whole thing about like the earth is hollow and lizard people live under there am i is that right am i am i off on that no that is that is is that where yeah, the lizard people the... come from yeah the earth is hollow but that's a different yeah but world. okay right away <laughs> yeah we talked about the the russians and they're digging that big hole to the ground oh, where I they couldn't it even dig anymore I saw it because today. it was too hot yep. so you're man lizards <laughs> like heat but not that much heat you're gonna die yo like, like this is, just doesn't make any sense dog if, you guys need to snap into reality here isn't it funny have you yo, ever Mike, seen those uh, pictures if if the russians were just like a foot over to the left they would have found the the hole <laughs> the lizard people <laughs> 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 they were, they were oh foot they were foot too, too far <laughs> The oh. hole's like fucking like <laughs> three kilometers in a round. Still a foot too and far, you, bro. And you missed the <laughs> Mike, I'll tell you what the problem is. The earth is hollow, but yeah. you can't just dig in from the side because there's a portal at the North Pole oh. that brings you into it, and then there's a portal at the South Pole that takes you out of it. Oh, Fact. my lanta. So you're just digging in the wrong spot. Smart. So you got to go to the North Pole. Yeah. North Pole, South Pole makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. You just tunnel through the center. Yeah. You know. And then you're in China. There. Yeah. Or no, you're in yeah. Calgary, and they got to build a Disney World to, to cover. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey man, I was pretty excited about that when I someone to told Google me that work. Shit. I had to Google that. I was man. like. <laughs> And then we and then we got run away. We we're like, well, what if they built that high speed train? We could just quickly take the train down to Disney World. Yeah, yeah. Like we're all happy at at coffee. Because yeah, they said, you know what the problem is, is that they said, 
if it was in Calgary or Calgary outskirts, it would yeah. be fine. But it said something. The title was like Disney World is coming to Cochrane or something. Yeah, right? yeah. Like it was. Yeah. It was like just you know in the middle of nowhere. Or whatever, <laughs> no, that's right? where that's where Callaway Park is. Yeah. So I was like, I believed it all. Yeah. It's close. Yeah, it's okay, close. Okay. It's like outskirts, right over there. You know what? When you think about it, like, yeah, like under Edmonton, above Calgary, like close to Banff, Jasper, like for like a travel destination in That's Canada, true. that is like pretty primo place to put. A lot of tourism. Imagine putting a Disney, Disney World there. Yeah, man. Like well, most people would think like, oh, over by Toronto, like you got Niagara Falls, you got maybe Paramount. Disney World, like that. Yeah. And like yeah. Toronto, maybe that works, but like. But yeah, it actually would work in that. Didn't area. you guys get excited when you first heard my message? I was excited. So I got really I had to excited. I had to Google it. To no, see. I was. I couldn't wait to call a y'all call you out on your conspiracy bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was someone who said April Fools. Yeah, especially right on April Fools. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That's the thing is I, the best conspiracy theories have just enough truth in them to sound believable. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, yeah. not truth. They have no truth. They have. <laughs> Like a possibility that you could believe it. That's why. No, Paul's right. It's no, a they possibility. Use real science. They use real science that's proven, but then they they twist it to make it sound like ah. it's it's believable to a point where unless you're like have really good critical thinking skills, or it doesn't matter unless you're like an actual like biologist or a physicist or something yeah. that you you need to do tons of research to even understand it. Like they. They can really twist a twist the tail. There's a documentary on Netflix right now, like about flat Earth believers and stuff. Oh yeah, and you can watch it's it. Flat. I can't believe we got through almost all this without talking about flat Earth. <laughs> yeah. That's why I bring it yeah, up. And that's a good one. And he, the way he's bringing it up, he's like, "Yeah, you see where I am." He's like, "You see those buildings in the distance? That's Seattle. That's a hundred like miles away or whatever." And he like draws this thing. He's like, "With the curvature of the Earth and the angle, he's like, you should not be able to see." those buildings unless the earth was flat and stuff and like so the most common everyday person when you're watching that you're like wow like i could see people believing this yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah also the moon doesn't exist it's a projection obviously see, come on man <laughs> i believe that funny. I believe like these that. Earthers, this documentary is hilarious because this like, is fucked it's like okay you see my language him. he's like they're like have you ever seen the earth circular it's like you've never seen it with your own eyes and people are like oh yeah well we've seen a picture that this that the space station took and they're like well what about this picture of the space station they're like who took the picture of that yeah. and stuff yeah. it's all fake kind of thing yeah. i just think it's, it's so, so funny, funny. Like, the conspiracy is the conspiracy <laughs> or reality is conspiracy yeah man. wormholes man wormholes should we wrap it up there boys I think so. That was a good episode, man. <laughs> some, good, yeah. some good stuff. UFOs, man. Exactly. <laughs> all right, uh, guys. Oh, go ahead, Paul. No, it's no, in. it's all good. It's good, it's man. It's in. All right. Unidentified flying object. It could be anything. It could be an asteroid. It could be anything, okay? It's unidentified in the title. I'm out of here. Unidentified. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks again. Okay. Peace. Take care, Peace, boys. boys. Bye. Bye. Subscribe, subscribe, like, <laughs> subscribe, follow. <laughs> Flat Earth, Flat Earth. We love you. <laughs>